In this demonstration, we'll go over the document record type functionality in SciCapture 4.0. The document record type functionality gives you the ability to create different record types with different index fields within any SciCapture capture workflow. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on capture, and I'll go ahead and illustrate this through the product. And the workflow I'm going to show you is just a generic accounting workflow, but within that, I've got three different types of document records. Invoices, purchase orders, and contracts, each with their own specific index field set. So you can see as I import these documents, <clears throat> as I mentioned, there's a purchase order, a contract, and an invoice. And if I go into my indexing, Within the indexing, you're going to see once I complete the uh, OCR indexing portion, is that I've got the ability to switch back and forth between document record types. And when I do, the index fields change. So with document record types, you can have shared fields, in this case vendor and date, which persist across contracts, purchase orders, and invoices. You can also have unique fields only to those types of records. So a contract has a contract number, an invoice has an invoice number obviously, and a purchase order has a purchase order number. When I select my record type, I can then come in to, um, into the document. And in this case I'm using OCR assisted indexing, but note I can use any type of um, field population, whether it be barcode, database lookups, any of those to populate my fields. Okay, and I can come through and I'll quickly just go through and, and index this, um, this particular document. And now I come into a contract, so I'm going to have to come down here and we'll switch to my contract, find my, uh, my contract number, find my particular vendor, which is Levo, and then find my date. Uh, contract date is over here. Okay, and you'll notice when I click on the field, it strips out all the extraneous information except for the date or the number or whatever I'm looking for. And the last one's going to be an invoice, so I can come in and um, click on my invoice number. I can find my vendor, which is Quick Fuels. And lastly, I'll find my date, populate my field. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this set of documents and it's going to go through, it's going to OCR the document, um, make it a searchable PDF and then migrate it into SharePoint. Now the end result within SharePoint is actually a searchable PDF in a correct folder. Now one of the things that I didn't show uh, that kind of happens behind the scenes is what we call conditional migrations. So with conditional migrations, I can specify where to send a document based on a value in a field. Okay, So I can say, hey, you know what, if the contract number field is populated, this is obviously a contract number, send it to the contract folder. They can be very simple, they can be very complex conditions on where to send documents. Okay, And you can write uh, pretty much any type of regular expression logic you want to be able to route those documents to the correct location. So this is just one of the new features uh, in a, a, a batch of over 100 that are in SciCapture 4.0. Um, take a peek at our website and look at some of the additional videos to get uh, a feel for the different types of things you can use to automate and make more efficient your document capture workflow. Thanks.